हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव रेड अबाउट टू सेंड डेटा फ्रॉम वन एक्टिविटी टू अनदर एक्टिविटी इन अ सीरीज ऑफ एक्सप्लिसिट इंटेंट एग्जांपल सो इन अ लास्ट एग्जांपल इन एक्सप्लिसिट इंटेंट i will give you an overview that how to send data back from the activity 2 to 1 means in the last program we see sending a data from one activity to second activity in this program we will see so backing a sending a result back from second activity to activity 1 so from here we are sending data back to activity 1 so how we will do this So first of all, here I want to make a button. So when I click on this button, it should say "Bye." So after the text field, I just use this button. This is text view. We have text view here. So text view we are converting linking with this. So in this button, I'll just touch with the screen also. So in this button, I am just writing. This is button two. So I am giving a name it. B T N by goodbye. Here also goodbye. So when I click on this button, goodbye, it should send the goodbye to activity number one. So in this activity, it will send goodbye. and that goodbye will be display here in a toast that by by the activity second so for that we have to make a coding here one change we have to make here first of all we have to change start activity for result here and we have to give the code also with this this is request code means the from one activity we are giving a request to second activity that you should pass a result also after executing so second activity will send the result back to the activity 1 the the request code for this result is 1 so activity 1 giving a result request to activity 2 this activity 2 and we are giving a request code 1 so when we will get the result back we will also check the request code should be 1 otherwise we have a data of another activity also then we have to override a method here that will take the result that method is on activity result on activity result we have to override we can take it from generator also override method and method name is on activity result this one so this method we have to override and in this method we have to check if the request code Which we are sending equal to equal to one. Then, if the result code is equal to equal to activity dot result okay. if equal to equal to result okay then we have to display toast 
make test get application context then the value value is data dot get text data dot get string extra and here we can say name is by I will give the key also here and then toast dot short period of time length dot show so this is the data which will come from the activity 2 and it is the key value which I will read from activity 2 so in this activity 2 what we have to do we have to this is activity second when I click on this button goodbye so we have to link the button also button goodbye name alt enter again we have to link the button also goodbye equal to find view by id r dot id dot button goodbye then when i click on this button set on click listener new on click listener so when i click on this button it should send the result by the intent i new intent so here we have to make a intent blank and write a data put extra here the key value is by and text is goodbye okay then we have to set result back to activity here we have to give activity dot result okay because we are confirming that we are sending right information in a intent okay so by this way we have to finish this activity also so this activity should be closed so like this here from here we are sending in data and here in main activity we are receiving data here so goodbye and we are giving a request code also one same code we are matching here so when i click on this it will run a program now you see the output once again from here I am giving my name and click on this it open my name Dr. Vipin Kumar when click on buy goodbye so it will be finished and data will come here goodbye so from the second activity we get data back to the activity one so this is all about the explicit intent in android studio that's all for now we see you again in next lecture bye Thank you.